Hey guys, what is up? It's me Rob from Panther Vision and today we are going to create a spiral vortex dotted something. I don't know the name of it, but uh, looks pretty cool. So let's jump in. Let's create, let's create the first circle. I usually have here the shapes, so it's more easy to reach. You also can select from here the ellipse tool and create the first circle. You can see it's not perfect. I'm going to uh, press shift and I'm going to isolate it the same place with shift plus alt. So you, so you can see it's isolated perfectly right here. Okay. Click alt plus shift, drag it, scale it down. And we got two circles. Select them both. Go to objects, blend, make. From here, we're going to create another circle and press Shift plus X so you can go to Strokes. I'm going to press A, the Direct Selection tool. You can see it here also. You can go here to select it. From here, I'm going to select these two anchor points and press Delete. I'm going to scale this up. I'm going to select both of these lines and go to Object, Blend, Replace Spine. So it looks something like that. You can see between the dots there's no space, so I'm going to double click on Blend Tool again. I mean, first time basically. Hit Previews and select Specified Steps. And I'm going to decrease the number of the circles until you can see some more space going on between the circles just like that press ok here i'm going to hit the rectangle tool and go from this anchor point press shift not shift plus alt just shift and drag it down here to the other anchor point just like that So we got the box. I'm going to copy paste this one by clicking Alt and drag. Let me. Okay. I'm going to spin this by pressing Shift and spin it. I'm going to pre uh, basically place this right here. I mean, just like this. Wait a sec, let me find it. It's right here where they intersect. I'm gonna delete the box, select both of these, press Control or Command C, and again Control F. And I'm gonna press Shift and rotate this. Now I'm going to group both of these. Let me scale these down a little more. I'm gonna group it by pressing Control or command g now they are grouped from here i'm going to go to effects um distort and transform transform press previews and from here i'm going to create like 32 copies i think that's, that's a good percentage let's go with 29. i'm going to decrease this till it's going to be some um, space going on between the circles. So 91 for me is pretty good. And I'm going to rotate it with the angle. And click OK. Voila! We got this perfect spiral vortex circle kind of thing. So this is it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have a great day. Bye bye.